Hi, I'm James Leishman from Nordhaven Yachts. I work in the Dana Point office at our corporate offices. As you may know, Nordhaven or Pacific Asian Enterprises is famous for their production long-range cruising trawlers. Uh, right now we're on board a Nordhaven 40 Mark II. This is the smallest vessel that we make. Okay, the Nordhaven 40 has been a very popular model for us. We've built 66 of them. And in 2001, the company Nordhaven announced they were going to take one around the world. Um, they completed that trip in 2002 in just under 26 weeks and set a world record. That's very special um, and has never been attempted nor completed by any other manufacturer. Um, so I'd like to talk a little bit now about what 40 owners have done with their own 40s. Our Nordhaven owners are very proud of the mileage they put on the boats and we have a pennant program in which they sign up and report their trips, mileage and, and receive a pennant. I looked real quick online and counted up 30 some boats uh, that were 40s and they averaged over 10,000 miles uh, on those boats that I counted. Now there were other boats in there that had 20, 30,000 miles on them, 40s. So, uh, it's pretty neat and that can be found on our website nordhaven.com uh, and that's always changing and, and we've been adding up the miles. I think we're over four million miles now uh, on all models. So it's, it's a neat thing to, to check out if you have the time. Alright, with the purchase of a new Nordhaven or even a brokerage secondhand vessel, each salesman, including myself, provide training uh, which is very special and custom to each customer and their needs. Uh, and with that training and with one of these vessels and a little bit of common sense, you can go anywhere you want in the world with these boats. Okay, I'm sitting here in the uh, pilot house at the pilot house settee, and uh, it's a real nice, comfortable place to sit. You probably find yourself up here quite a bit while underway on watch. It comes with a nice table, a standard. A neat feature about this settee is that you have a watch berth right here and this is used while underway someone can come up here and sleep uh, behind you and um, this will actually extend out and I'll show you how that works this cushion just gets folded down and this pulls out and then this filler cushion will fill in and that'll just give you a, a you know a larger area to sleep it makes a good place for an, an extra adult or kid on the boat even at anchor Okay, we're here in the uh, Nordhaven 40 wheelhouse and um, one of the first thing that stands out, kind of an iconic feature of these Nordhavens uh, are these reverse rake uh, windows. These are kind of the reverse angled windows and you can see here uh, in the middle of the afternoon we're getting very little glare and that's a result of the, the way these windows are angled. So that, that's a nice feature that's, you know, safety and just makes the boat uh, easier to navigate and view these screens. The boat comes standard with a lot of room to put uh, you know an owner's choice of electronics. We, we've got Fruno now, Net 3D, this is a new system, fairly new system. Um, two screens. Uh, this is a pretty nice electronics package um, but you know I've seen all kinds of different things done. Over here on the port side, some people elect to put a laptop. There's a fold-up chart table that um, can be used for charts or, or a laptop that can be moved around. The wheel on this boat is angled. This is the standard wheel. This comes in real handy when you're maneuvering the boat in tight quarters. We have kind of a, a, a knob here that you can hang on and you can rotate this wheel around lock to lock uh, you know, with one hand with very little effort. Uh, main engine controls are on the port side and then a duplicate control, Morris control for the wing engine. And that's actually not a Morris control, that's a, a Teleflex. Okay, so on the lower section of the panel we have the uh, 120 side of the panel. Now this particular boat is 60 hertz um, for the US uh, power. Now if it was a European 40 obviously it would be 50 hertz and that's done quite commonly. Um, so in this section we have the non-inverter side of the panel, things that are not going to run on the inverter. Um, and then we've got the inverter service, uh, which is the rest of the panel. And then down on the bottom we have our selector switch to go from shore power and to generator power. So it's, it's nice, clean, simple, straightforward, and really works for this size boat. Okay, and behind the panel, uh, 
we do take a lot of pride in our wiring and as you can see each one of these breakers again behind plexiglass for safety is a code and if you reference these codes to the owner's manual uh, you can see exactly what, what, uh, what wire that is and to what piece of equipment it goes to. Okay, we're here on the Nord Album 40 in the head and shower, and this is conveniently located midship on the boat. It's designed for use at sea. It's tight enough to where you're not going to get thrown around in here, but it's also roomy enough to where you can you know, not feel confined when you're at uh, anchor. Okay, we're here in the guest stateroom of the 40. It's located midships uh, on the port side. Uh, standard are two double bunks. On this particular boat, the lower bunk pulls out and makes a double. But this is a great cabin for a couple or, 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 or two people that don't want to necessarily sleep in the same bed. Um, also located in this cabin is a washer and dryer combination unit and entry into your engine room. And you may notice on the outside of this door there's some fasteners. And the company here tries to, in the design of a boat, think about future removal of equipment and this allows you to actually get the washer and dryer out without having to get a chainsaw and, and, and cut this bulkhead away. Okay, a little bit about the water system on this 40. Um, the boat comes standard with two upper saddle tanks, what we call them, and then one larger tank uh, underneath uh, the bulkhead, actually the cabin sole that I'm standing on. So there's a total of three water tanks. And the upper water tanks have sight gauges, which are right behind this door in the guest stateroom. Those allow you to monitor the level of water in those upper tanks, and they will gravity feed down into the lower tank underneath my feet. Now, a nice feature that uh, comes standard with the boat is the ability to, to isolate those tanks. So in the event you lost a water maker or did not have uh, the, the capability of bringing new water onto the boat, you can, with some simple valve changes here, we can isolate those upper tanks and only consume the lower tank and then allow uh, you know, the amount of water that we want to consume out of those tanks. So it's something that you don't see, it's, it's kind of hidden away here, but it's, it's a very important system that uh, is designed into the boat. All right, we're now in the owner's stateroom, which is located forward on the boat. Um, owner's stateroom here has a queen-size bed. Access is real easy on both sides. There's a lot of storage, upper and lower. Uh, it's, a, it's a big owner's stateroom for a 40-foot boat. Okay, here we are in the 40 Mark II's galley. Uh, this galley is designed to be on the same level as a salon. Um, it's an open galley, but it's designed with passage making in mind. Uh, it's a very safe galley. It's enough working space for two, um, but at the same time, it's very safe. It's almost uh, encloses you 360 degrees with countertop space all the way around. Um, you know, very easy galley to work in and prepare meals. Really nice feature about this galley is that we do uh, put a blower here to evacuate any hot air. In addition to having cross ventilation with these two hatches that open very nicely and, and so what you see on this galley is standard equipment but we do offer multiple options to meet each individual's requirements. I'm sitting here at the main salon uh, settee and I'm just adjacent here to the galley that I just showed you. Uh, this is a standard settee, nice and big, long enough for a person to sleep. I've actually slept uh, on these settees, on these 40s, uh, quite a bit. Um, you're seeing that the table here, the dining table, the standard table, is not, it's missing. And, and that's because this owner deleted that and went with a custom high-low kind of a coffee table uh, or dining arrangement. And that's just not here. Uh, it'll be here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, behind this settee, if you pull this cushion down, you've got a really nice, big area for dry storage or food storage or whatever kind of storage you want and this actually goes all the way back and around wraps around the entire back of the settee and in addition to that we've got where I'm sitting below me this entire area can be used for storage uh, too so it's, it's ample storage on the 40. Okay so underneath this cushion we have the uh, 
storage area I was referring to, and this is a, the center section of three different sections. It's a, a lot of room, great for dry goods, food, or anything that you need to store on the boat. Below that, you're going to see a removable section here, and this is access to the fuel tank. And it's a really special feature that uh, is found on this forward, and I'm going to show you that next. Okay, below this hatch, we have access to the starboard fuel tank. Now, this fuel tank is really unique um, to Nordhaven and, and specifically Nordhaven 40. It's a fiberglass or FRP tank. You'll see the information for the tank capacity, manufactured date, etc., right there on top. And you're going to see a removable plate here. And that plate uh, is designed to be pulled off, and a full size adult can get into that tank. Um, once in the tank, there's re removable baffles, and um, it's just a great feature for the future or any kind of issue with fuel. You can actually get in there, clean it, inspect it, and, and know exactly the condition of the tank. Okay, I'm sitting over here on the port side of the salon, and uh, what you see on this particular hull is the uh, another settee, and this is kind of an area in, in which there's a few options. Um, this is a fairly popular way to go because you get that beneficial storage that I showed you on the, the other side there, on the starboard side. Um, my family's had two 40s. Uh, the first one we left this area kind of open with some built-in shelving or, or kind of shelving and then we put a diesel furnace in, which was kind of nice up in Alaska. Um, on our second boat, we did this arrangement with another table here. So some people do some freestanding e cornice style chairs. Um, I've seen built-in desks for someone that does some office work. Uh, there's, you know, being semi-custom, um, kind of the sky's the limit. You are restricted a bit on space, of course, but uh, we work with people and do some pretty neat things. Behind me is access up to the pilot house, and to my right is access down into the sleeping quarters. People always comment to me on these boats that uh, they enjoy not having a lot of steps to go up and down, and, and that's true of this 40. Okay, keep in mind we're uh, still on the 40, and this is a huge engine room we're in now. Um, not full stand up, but a lot of room to move around and work. The standard main engine here is the John Deere 4045 four cylinder and what we're pretty famous for is the dry exhaust system so this engine the way it's set up here keel cooled dry exhaust no salt water coming in no extra through hole um, no impellers it doesn't even know it's in a boat it's set up like it's in a factory or a truck um, that's a pretty nice feature for a long-range cruising boat eliminating some of those um, you know maintenance and potential problems a generator as in a sound box, uh, super quiet. We've got a, a wing engine that's got its own shaft, and its own folding propeller, and its own fuel supply. So that engine, um, used as an auxiliary get home engine, is totally independent from any other system in here, um, which is really nice. You don't ever have to come down, set up a belt, or start up a generator, or, or really Mickey Mouse just got to basically turn a key on and you're ready to go. That engine will push this hull oh, about four and a half knots, <clears throat> maybe five knots in real calm water. So it's it's uh, it's nice to have and, and know you have it uh, if you have a failure on your main engine. Okay, I wanted to talk a little bit about the fuel system. The Nordhaven 40 has two main tanks, uh, one port and one starter, and they're behind this uh, engine room bulkhead um, on, on either side. We've got a return manifold here and if you look you see these double Raycor 900s and these are for the main engine so you have the ability to switch and change while underway. Uh, that's, that's pretty nice and not very common to see such big filters on a main engine for a boat of 40 feet. Uh, each uh, the wing engine and the generator also have their own Raycors and Again, the wing engine has its own complete separate fuel supply. 
Uh, we've got a fire suppression system in here. This white tank is for the track ABTs. The 40 can be offered with active fin stabilizers and, para and or paravanes. Uh, I say and or because this boat's got both. Okay, a little bit uh, more on the fuel system. As I mentioned, there's two main fuel tanks, both of which gravity feed their supply of fuel down to the supply tank. The supply tank is this white tank here. Now you can select uh, either port or starboard main engine room tank, gravity feed it into here, and then this tank will supply the main engine and the generator. Now normal operation you would return back to this tank. Um, the reason we do this or it's designed this way is there's a couple reasons. One being we can consume all of our fuel um, out of the tanks. Two, any debris or water will through gravity make their way down to this small tank and we have a way of dumping the debris or water out. There's also a water sensor that comes standard at the bottom of this tank. Then we provide the sight gauge. It's closed now but in the unlikely event that this got broken or cracked um, we put these here. You close them and open them when you want to check the level, close them when you're done. So it's, it's a neat fuel system. There's other manufacturers are not using this system. We are, and we, we feel it's the best. It's very proven, and we're very proud of it. Nordhaven's known for the engine room layouts, cleanliness, and, and we're constantly, each boat that gets built, we're getting better and better. And this is a, a great example of, of, of really good 40 engine room. You'll notice um, the floor is a, is a molded fiberglass pan, um, great for cleanup, looks really good. Um, we pride ourselves in, in neat wire runs, uh, plumbing. Each boat is thought about by multiple people in our company. And I think it's real evident when anyone gets on these boats and pokes their head in the engine room, they'll, they'll see a, a real pride of, of workmanship. If you look at the back of the engine room, you'll see a reversal oil change system. That's a pretty popular option, uh, aids you in your oil changes. And you'll see that same system on Nordhavens in our lineup to the 86 and 120. If you look right above that, you're going to see an Edson manual uh, bilge pump and that's there in the unlikely event that your electric pumps failed you but if you look closely at the uh, the way that is mounted it's just on a beautiful piece of stainless steel that we uh, manufacture right in our yard and we're real proud that we can we can offer that kind of quality thank you for joining me on this tour and if long range cruising is in your future I invite you to come down and see a Nordhaven in person and see for yourself how easily long range cruising can be done in style safety and, and total comfort. Thank you.